Patrick Matthews, the former Canadian Armed Forces reservist, will spend nine years in prison for his role as a key figure in a plot to trigger a race war in Virginia. Matthews from Beauxjour, Manitoba, had already pled guilty to four weapons charges related to his role in the white supremacist neo-Nazi group called The Base, which had planned to use their weapons to disrupt a gun rights rally in January of 2020. U.S. District Court Judge Theodore Chang delivered the sentence Thursday in a Maryland courtroom. In addition to the nine years in prison, Matthews will have three years supervised release. Matthews told the court he fell in with a bad crowd, expressing remorse, but did not apologize. Judge Chang called it galling that someone from another country would come to the U.S. thinking it's a place that's near collapse and that he could accelerate that process. Adding that the U.S. is full of patriotic, law-abiding people and is not on the verge of collapse, contrary to what some might think. You know, nine years plus supervision after release, the, the clear message there is that they're adding what they call a terrorism enhancement. Frank Cormier teaches sociology and criminology at the University of Manitoba. Cormier says the judge agreeing to terrorism enhancement could have added anywhere from five to six years onto Matthews' sentence. And it sends a strong message that even if a terrorist act isn't committed, the planning and promoting of terrorist acts is enough to land you a lengthy jail sentence behind bars. This is, you know, an indicator that, that certainly in the United States and in many countries, they're, they're taking the idea of promoting ter terrorism um, a lot more seriously than perhaps in the past. Matthew's defense team has asked the court to allow him to serve his sentence at a facility in Minnesota in order to be closer to his family members. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.